1983 draws to a close, all of us here at the ABC hope it's been a good year for you and that 1984 will be even better. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Casey. I am the producer of Remember X Not a Test. I also play Maddie Ramis on the podcast. Uh, a lot of people have been asking us about episode 14. So we thought we'd kind of do a like little recap for everybody uh, of what we remember about episode 14. And <laughs> Good luck. In a box. In a box. And we're all in boxes. We're all trapped in boxes that we can't yeah. get out of until we remember what happened in episode 14. We're so, confined <laughs> until we figure it out. It's going to be Go. real mad. Oh, guys, we're locked in the broadcast right now. Oh, no. Yeah, we literally are. This is it. This is the broadcast. This is, is this what it feels like to be injured cold? Yeah. All the time. I, I, feel like, I feel like this is more like Roach. Uh, <laughs> Imagine an eternity in suburban Delaware. Oh my god. He's Nightmare. way nicer than he should be if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, so I'm gonna go if you're listening to the audio of this, then you can't see the boxes that we're in. No, love you. Shut up. <laughs> da, 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 da. Like oh wait, no, I guess it's da, 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 da. It's the story of a guy that- named Joey. <laughs> And I play Raider Hansen on the show. I also edit it and co-produce it. But I am not alone. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Of our producer Casey. <laughs> <laughs> Who never remembers their producer hat? <laughs> <laughs> Sean's uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm afraid of this coming to me, and I, I can't come up with a song that fast. And then, and and then, then the one, one day, then the Casey met this G. Wait, that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, that. Stage, no, Gia. stage left. Stage so left. Stage left. About God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and. and she no knew it was for much more than a hunch because I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good at this either. And Gia plays Donna on the podcast. Donna Maitland. Donna Maitland. And that's the way we all became the podcast bunch. The podcast. <laughs> and then there's Harold. <laughs> there's only- Harold Delaney. There we go. And he plays Charles Isley O'Keefe. <laughs> He's a weird, I guess, something because I just changed the song. <laughs> I just changed the song, and that's how we something, end up with Jaffe. Damn it! I was like, how are you going to rival on Keith? And it was me! <laughs> so, all of you, this is what I like. Over. Just imagine us in a room. It's, but, and yeah. Ralph, this gets terrifying. <laughs> Cutting forty-five oh, Ralph, minutes of tape at time. Bring it home, Sean. I, I, I uh, <laughs> uh, choke. <laughs> and then the one day there was a Sean Jaffe, and he wrote the game, and he writes the game in the podcast too. <laughs> and and he has now they're singing at him, and he does not know what to do. <laughs> the podcast bunch. Hey. The, the podcast bunch. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be so many more questions now that we've done all of this. They're going to be like, what is wrong with people? I should not be singing. None of us have any reason to be humans. It's very confusing. Let me just grab this. According to the little girls that live next door to me, I should always be singing. So, A B S. A B S. (laughs) Gotta be abs. (laughs) Abs. Abs. I'm going to add the. Or why are we here now? What is what are we doing? <laughs> so now we're going to talk about episode 14. So who remembers how episode 14 started? So a long, long time ago in Clearfield, Delaware, everybody forgot what happened one day. 
when when Joey said a long, long time ago, I thought he was going to start singing a la American Pie. Yes. Yeah. A long, long time ago. No more. No more. No more. In, in Fairfield, Delaware. I saw it happen at the town hall like this. <laughs> Sean's not. Sean's we not here for this. We have lost uh, all subscribers already. I'm going to be terrible. <laughs> You didn't know that, why did you not on board for a fully musical, a uh, like impromptu musical? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was podcast. not prepared to do. Like, we didn't disclose that information. This was going to be a musical interpretation of episode fourteen. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, we didn't uh, tell you that, Sean. I well, folks. did not do my homework. I feel like my eyes are stuck together. <laughs> Here it is. Ah, I actually have my notes on it. Oh Be yay! Smart. <gasps> no. We also oh. start with Isley oh. and Raider. Don't get excited. It's three lines. <laughs> what do your notes say, Sean? All right, let's. Yeah, we have, tra- have three. You really have three notes in episode fourteen. Yeah, I have three notes. That's let's great. transport ourselves so, to episode fourteen. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure we start with uh, Isley and um, Raider in the back being kind of talked to by. Uh, one of the special agents from the Department for the Preservation of American Dignity. The lady. Uh, yeah. The lady. I don't remember what her name is. Sean? Uh, Agent Cutler. Agent, Agent yeah. Cutler. Yes, 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 yep. yes, yes. So Agent Cutler is talking to us about all of the ridiculousness and how we got involved with Shaw and how... Um, and Lauren, by the way, has the track meet that day. So that is the day of the track meet that's supposed to be happening. And we are talked to for a time frame where Isley's like, oh, I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, and Raider, I believe, is just trying to be like, well, this is just a bullshit day the entire time <laughs> um, at the feds after we are both covered in blood. Um, we they, watch- blow, they blow her head off, right? Or yeah, they, they just fucking can- kill her <laughs> in the middle of, like, right outside of the school. Um yeah. Not Tejal, uh, Shaw. They killed Shaw, Shaw oh outside of the school. Just in case anyone's like, oh my God, God. what? What just happened? Or, uh, um, headshot. And during that time frame, you guys are actually locked in the. That's um, right. Where yeah, most people are, are locked inside the cafeteria. And the yeah, teachers can't do that. trying to get out to go to the yeah. nurse, and the door of the cafeteria is locked from the outside. The teachers are kind of scrambling. Because they're like, we're trapped in here too? What the hell? Is- Sal- Salvatore Passanante. Silvio. Silvio Passanante. Silvio Passanante. <laughs> That's right. We put, Sil- we put John's, John's last game. name in there. Yeah. Just throw him That's in. Right. That sounds about right. Uh, and then eventually we get taken out of the um, we get taken out of the of the cab and then you guys are let the, the doors are opened and we are brought into the principal's office. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the time we're brought into the principal's office, uh, Lauren has a full-on concussion. <laughs> and all of us are just trying to deal with her having a concussion. Well, we're all trying to convince her to go to the hospital. Like That too. You, like, that you don't have to run. And <laughs> you have to go. You can't run in a, in, a, in a track meet. You have to go to the hospital. Yeah, you you she, need help. And she keeps telling us, like, no, no, I have to run in the track meet. The track meet's today. She's very dedicated to it, and we were all like, "You're an idiot. Yeah, we're not, <laughs> you're 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 very concussed. You're going to the hospital. You need to go to the hospital. You're going to the hospital." And we're put into a room with circular discs that are electric, all on walls. Yeah, all on walls. yeah and, uh, they were. The, it described it that they looked kind of like uh, uh, smoke detectors, but they yep. like weren't clearly weren't. But there was like too many of them. Yep. And no one has any idea what's going on around us, essentially. And the department head, not Cutler, someone else comes in and starts talking to us. I don't remember, I don't remember what his name was, but I remember he did it. And as he's talking to us, uh, he keeps adjusting the turn knobs and turn dials to try to keep us focused on him as whatever else and whatever nonsense is going on outside of it. Uh, and we're all kind of like being broken out of the thing that they're trying to create for us. At which point, um, Lauren's kind of the one falling into it. After all, she has a concussion. Um, at which point, everything gets really quiet, except for the sound and the vision of an ast- a full astronaut suit coming through the front doors of the room. Yeah. At which point, we're all just like, yes, Mr. Person from the department. 
and just staring at the uh, astronaut just walking through the principal's office of our. He went our behind the school. desk. Yeah. Yes, right. behind the principal's desk and like grabbed something. It dropped something, which oh, is very something. important. He just put something on the ground and then <sighs> walks out. Meanwhile, uh, Lauren is talking about it to the director. And we're just like, no, Lauren, you have no idea what you're talking about. What? You're how really can you possibly cool. see that? Yeah. And she's like, no, but there's totally a guy right there. And we're like, sure, no, there isn't. She, she's very concussed. <laughs> right. We need to bring her to the hospital. There's no. There's no there's she's so concussed, concussed, concussed. She's concussed. seeing random space people. Um. <laughs> at which point, <laughs> they don't call the ambulance for her. <laughs> Which is the weirdest part of this Listen, entire episode. It's the um, Department of, for the Preservation of American Dignity, not the uh, Department for the Preservation of American Health. Children. Consciousness. Yeah. yeah. Um, we eventually are, we, we eventually convince him that, um, that we are okay. Part two uh, of that whole conversation, after he kind of turns off the dials and doesn't, ma- and doesn't care, uh, the principal comes back inside. And he's like, what the hell is going on? Because we don't even know what's going on with you kids. And Raider stops and says, wait, before we do anything else, um, something's going wrong with Sid. Something's happening with Sid Clifford. And his dad is definitely abusing him. That's, yeah, that's and right. And Raider full on just <laughs> right. but gets, goes past the whole, like, you know, I'm tipped off at Sid. It's like, no, his, his father's beating the crap out of him. We're terrified of his father because we know for a fact at which point the principal's like, oh shit, even the kids know that there's something going wrong. Okay, we have to get someone involved in this. And that was a really big moment that we all thought was like, holy shit, the, kid, the adults are actually listening to us about Sid being abused, uh, very obviously, when they're just all trying to avoid it because Sid's dad is, of course, the chief of police. Mm-hmm. Right, Sheriff? Chief of police? I forget which one. But I know uh, very sheriff. Much. He's yeah. the sheriff. Sheriff Clifford. Yeah. Yeah. Sheriff Clifford. Sheriff so Al- we know that he's a and what else? I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, I actually do remember a bunch, but does anyone else want to jump in? If anyone remembers anything else, well, at the I think after that it's the end of school, and then uh, trash picks us up. Do you remember right. what happened? What the, what the guy dropped? Do you remember what the astronaut dropped? No, I don't. He dropped the mask that was buried by uh, uh, by Dakota. Uh, so when I go, I actually go like past it and pick up the monkey the mask. Uh, and that was what was hidden. Above, that's what the astronaut had dropped. Which, granted, as a for future reference, since that's been connected to the moth this entire time, it seems uh, it's kind of like that was a help. But you know, that's Harold being like, "Oh, I know where this ends." Uh, but well, we like, I freaked out. Like, I think loses his stuff and freaks out, and we all leave. And that's when trash spits us up. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So go ahead, Joey. Remember all the trash stuff. Well, I don't. I don't totally remember all the trash. I remember that was like it was maybe the last five or so minutes. Yeah, it was. The, it was rounding out that last part. Yeah, we I were was... just we were just kind of like bullshitting, and then we told her that Lauren has a concussion, and then she like dropped us off at our houses and was going to take her to the hospital. She drops us off at the our, at the Centauri, but before she drops us off at the Centauri. We see the Notcher Kincaid uh, thing go, the cops chasing Notcher, and they get into a car wreck, and it stops the vision yeah. that Raider had that was Notcher's death. It changes it entirely into a completely different uh, universe, and Raider has the re the new dream of that not taking place. That's right. So there was a whole bit where like Raider had all this time frame to like. Rem- like see the change and the shift in what he believed. Like Lauren's no longer running, so someone else like wins the competition, and Notcher just gets put in jail instead of being gunned down by the cops because he, uh, there was because it was actually I think because of trash driving us that like he was unable to like get into like he was unable to drive as far as he would and swerves around Trash's car, which is what causes him to get into the wreck instead of him driving directly to the school which would have caused his death and possibly someone else's death. Do so they feel like someone else also got shot? So here's the thing that I want to ask if you got, if anybody else remembers in the dream, when Notcher uh, shows up at the school and gets out of the car, he has a kid with him. Did we ever find out who that kid was? Did he yeah, have- he, had a, he had a gun on his yes. head. Yeah, I remember that. He was... 
But in like what actually wound up happening when when we cut him off and 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 stopped that, did he have a kid in the car when the cop caught him? I don't think so. Not that we were aware of. No, I think by that point, the timeline had changed. Yeah. It's really funny because I was, that just makes me think uh, now that we've finished the season out and everything. Uh, I got like it, he got into like a car accident and then we stole his car. <laughs> yep, sure did. He fixed it you and then what? we stole his car. <laughs> and that it car went through a lot in the season one of Not a Test. The other thing is that I remember a lot of uh, <laughs> real fun conversation with Trash and us all picking up on the fact that Trash is a lesbian and Lauren, who's a little ba- who's a little baby lesbian, not picking up on that at all. Yeah, no. yeah that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I think we all got new nicknames too. Yeah, yeah she uh, called yes. me Zipper. That's yeah, right. You're a zipper. You're a zipper. And oh that's God, what was Donna? Donna was like something that she was not comfortable with having to do with knives. I thought it was just knife. Was it just or knife? Slash <laughs> or it might have just been like stiletto. Stiletto. I honestly stiletto sounds great, right, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think it was stiletto. I think it was like it was like slash or something. I don't remember. Stab. But whatever it was, whatever nickname she was given, she was Crotch not. Stab. They might have been stabbed. Stab. It was also like the last the first time when we got out of the arcade not and, and Isley went or and Isley went from well, of course, um, this isn't my accent. I mean, it's this. This is this is how I actually sound, yeah. and now you guys know. At so, the very uh, beginning, yeah. At the, the very end, we were at the Centauri. Like, ah, I mean, I'm from New York, so this is what I sound like, and this is what I've always sounded like, but, you know. Because at the beginning of 15, we're already, like, we're giving you the, like, you should, like, you know, people don't just like you for your accent. Like you need to let people know who you are so that they can like you for who you are. Because we were like giving you, and Sean was like, you go or like a after school special. <laughs> yep. We were, we were like all giving you the big black hair about like, just being yourself. You just gotta be yourself. I feel like there's a lot of great after school special moments in uh remember X, not yeah. a test. Or two. Really? Yeah. It's it's all too what I was going for. I was yeah. trying to get that in there. <laughs> Would you like to hear my notes? Yes. Yeah. What are your notes, then? The three notes. All right. Let me tell you my three notes for this. <laughs> uh, where are they? Um, pull these up. Okay. Episode nine, scrubbing scalps. Episode 10, the box. 11, defending your honor. 12, stay away from the tapes. 13, the vision. Okay. And 14, I'll ask the questions. Friday, October 14th, 1983. Here's all I have. Uh, Kids are brought before Agent Cutler, who asks about Red Getty, possibly name drops Marshall Malvolio, Mother Nagamdi, and the Helix. And then the other note is, Dad and Maddie talk, Mom's last words, have you seen The Visitor yet? I don't remember that coming up in game. No. Nope. You actually got away from that. That did not happen. It was going to, though. Wait, uh, so my mom knows? Oh, man. <laughs> We're never going to see her again. <laughs> don't know about that. <laughs> Oh my god! That's that's some fucking shit, man. That's that's fucking shit. shit. Yeah, she was gonna have. I was gonna have a whole scene where she was like, she was leaving, and that was gonna be like her last thing. Was like, have you seen the visitor yet? And then just get in the car and drive off. Uh, oh but god. things went a different way. Um, my mom. So. Is I mean, it's Clearfields. So that's not really that surprising to me. But like, fuck. But like. Mm. The episode went really well, I think, the way it did. I'm, I am impressed, Harold, with your mm-hmm. power of recollection because yeah, I, I, dude, my I, mind is like a steel trap. I cannot remember. Even in just like our regular weekly games, it's shocking. And I mean, uh, maybe it's because like I have the mind of like I have like the memory of a goldfish, so I never yeah, remember too. shit. Super impressive. I, I mean, I I, I, I wrote it. I don't remember it that well. Yeah, at all. Maybe that's why I don't remember it that well. It's like, yeah, screw it. You can forget all of it. You'll just come up with a new one. (laughs) I get into a lot of arguments sometimes where I'm like, you said this stuff. And people are like, no, I didn't. And I'm like, 
All yeah. right, I'll just let it be. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, that totally happened. Uh, okay. no, that's, that's pretty amazing. It's when I when I love things, I tend to try to remember as much as humanly possible about them. So like, Aww. that's just the truth. It's just what happens. Uh, you are sweet and adorable, and we love you. Oh God, this is all being recorded. Yeah, <laughs> it's it is, bitch. Security. We all love Harold. <laughs> Joey destroyed that's something. Like horrible faces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like emotions. No, it's not that. I'm not, I'm just like I don't know. It's it's a whole. There, there's a lot from this will probably come up in the question eventually. But there's a lot of Isley that like uh, that I try to draw from uh, my own past experience of like weird parent stuff, and so like a lot of his re- reactions to things. I'm like, how would I have reacted to that? Or if not, how would I have reacted to that? How would like three other people I know? have reacted to this situation in Isley's spot. And it sometimes we get to a point in game and he, my react and Isley's like feeling a weird way about it. And my reaction is, Oh shit. That's more, that's more about me than I thought that was going to be. All right, let's deal with this later. <laughs> so <laughs> me dealing with like, Oh, all these positive tamp things. It down, tamp it down. Yep. Just, just gonna uh, push this together <laughs> and I'll press this button later. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs>